Alright guys, so uh, we're going to do this last part of the uh, patch notes and uh, this is going to be the part where we talk about the uh, disappointing stuff or could be exciting if you hate these dinos. So we're going to talk about the losers of this patch, the ones that got nerfed hard or, you know, didn't get enough changes or buffs to make it uh, that relevant in the meta or um, strong, I guess. So let's start with um, the commons. So, uh, if I could open this. So the commons, the biggest one that got hit is Tanny Clagris. So the thing with Tanny is, like, nothing got changed. Like, Tanny's not even on this list. But the problem is, Tanny used to be a Indo killer. That's what it was known for. It was the Indoraptor killer. And now, Indoraptor got a HP buff, and Tanny doesn't kill it anymore, so what's the point of running Tanny anymore? <laughs> I mean, it still does well against other dinos like Monomimus, but that's not going to be an issue anymore, because Monomimus, as we're going to see in a bit, probably isn't going to be that relevant. So that's Tanny. Um, and, uh, yeah, the Tanny didn't get a buff either, um... I think I already mentioned that, but I I don't know why I just mentioned that again then. Um, let's move on to the rares. Um, like, really this, this patch, we didn't have too many dinos that got hurt too much. Like, Notice Source. Notice Source is one that got hurt here. Um, instead of Armor Piercing Impact, it has Decelerating Impact. I mean, that's not horrible, but it got an HP nerf. And also with all the bleed dinos and so many new chompers out there, Notosaurus is going to get hurt quite a bit. Like, um, uh, Rex Gen 2 has Fence Shattering Impact now, and that's going to hit Notosaurus super hard. Like, Decelerating Impact is not going to help it at all against a Rex Gen 2. Um, although Armor Piercing Impact didn't help it either, but, you know, it could have given it something to kind of deal with chompers, but nope, chompers are just going to... Uh, annihilated it like usual, and now it has lesser HP. So that hurts. Um, another... I, I guess it's a nerf, is Tego Diaz. Um, and, and I know I'm, I'm skipping a bit here, but um, I'm just going to talk about Tego Diaz a bit. A lot of people say Tego Diaz is just absolutely ruined, it's unusable, no one's going to run it anymore. Um, I don't think so. Like... And I and, and I know a lot of people on the other side who say, oh no, people are still going to run Stego DS because they're already over leveled and stuff. And I don't think that's a reason either. Stego DS got nerfed. Absolutely, it got nerfed. But it's still one of the best tanks in the game. If you're looking to tank, if you're looking to kill uh, Dialer Rakyrus, if you're looking to do some massive damage, massive hurt to Yuta Rhinex, if you're looking to, you know, take out Magnas, if you're looking to kill Indominus Rex, Stegodius is still a extremely good dino in that sense. Um, it got a slight HP increase. Defense or Armor Piercing Rampage is now Rampage, which that's an obvious nerf. Security Strike, that's another huge nerf. It's going to get bleed. If there's a bleed dino out there, it's going to get hurt by the bleed, but it still kills the bleed dino, actually. Because, you know, bleed dinos, they don't have armor, so armor... Piercing uh, Rampage, that downgrade doesn't really matter. So Sega Days could still Thagomizer, and, you know, since it doesn't really need... Well, it can't cleanse Bleed anymore, so it doesn't really need to use Purity. You could just go for Thago and Rampage, and your the Spinatosuchus is dead. So Sega Days still isn't bad. It got nerfed, 100% got nerfed. It's hurt. It's not as good as before, but it got nerfed. Uh, it's still good, but it's still good. So, uh, that's what I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say about Sego Diaz. Um, I'm, personally, I'm still gonna run Sego Diaz. It's level 29. <laughs> Why am I not running it? Like, all my other dinos are, like, around level 24, 25. So, obviously, I'm still gonna run Sego Diaz. So, um, let's talk about, uh, epics now. And the epic I'm gonna talk about is also still in this category. Um, same thing as Notosaurus. And Sego Diaz is, well, it got a slight attack increase, which is super irrelevant, and um, armor piercing impact is impact now, and, you know, with more people running bleed dinos, it's gonna get bled, and it, unlike Stego Diaz, like, a Giga Spica and Notapado, they don't have the damage to take out Spondosuchus, so they're gonna get hurt here. 
Um, actually, I, I'm not super sure. Like, the slight damage increase plus the counter might take one of the Sukas out. But yeah, they're not that great anymore. And plus, they're a bit harder to create. Or, or Giga Spike, at least, is a bit harder to create than Stereodios, I guess. Uh, Nota Powder Source obviously is not harder to create than Stereodios. Stereodios literally uses Nota Powder as ingredients. So, moving on to the big one. The one everybody's been waiting for. Monomimus. <laughs> Monomimus took a hit. It took a good hit. It, like, Ludia took Monomimus. Under the bus it goes. It's under the bus. It's It got ran over. Completely ran over this thing. And they even admitted it here. Like, they said there was a gross miscalculation of this creature. It was a gross miscalculation. Um... So, I've always said, um, in the last patch, Modern Mimes is among the best dinos in the game. Like, even if it doesn't dodges, e even if it doesn't dodges, it doesn't dodge at all, like, it's high damage, well, decently high damage, as two impact moves, it has a null, it has distract, which, despite its low HP, keeps it, uh, decently helped. So, you don't even have to, like, I see so many people dodging with Modern Mimes, a lot of times you don't even need to dodge, like, distract keeps Modern Mimes alive. Long enough to kill a lot of dinos. 129 speed. This thing was an absolute monster. And now I got hit super hard. And it's over here. HP reduced to 2.7k. It's gonna get killed by so many dinos now. Like, Draco Rex Gen 2. If it's just like one or two more levels higher, I don't have the, um, we don't have the stats yet. But, uh, uh I, I'm sure we'll, we'll, we'll get them soon. But, like, a uh, level 1 or 2 higher Draco Rex Gen 2? Like, instant kills, just one shots it. You just swap it in, and the swap in attack triggers before Modern Mimus dodges. So, Modern Mimus isn't even gonna dodge. Draco Rex comes in, Modern Mimus is dead. It's dead. <laughs> this poor, poor thing. But, I mean,. And, and a lot of people are hyping it up to be like, Modern Mimus is trash. No, it's not trash. Um, HP got a huge hit. It is not going to survive a lot of attacks, but it still hits hard. It's still 129 speed. It still has immunity. And it still dodges. So Modern Mimus is not by any means a bad dino. It's still a good dino. It just wasn't the, you know, being it was before. So that's what Modern Mimus It's way easier to kill now um, compared to before, but it's still not a horrible dino, but I would suggest using Mono Lophosaurus DNA on Mono Stegotops instead. Mono Stegotops got a HP increase, uh, great, a stunning impact is now greater stunning impact, it's a great dino now on Mono Stegotops. Um, despite what I uh, used to say about it, it's a different It's a different dino now. So there's that. Okay, um, uh, let's talk about some more. Uh, a legendary dinosaur that got shafted, Alan Kylosaurus. So speed increased to, increased to 114. Totally irrelevant. <laughs> if it was 115, then uh, maybe we have some, you know, matchups we could talk about. You know, Megalosuchus. Um, we could talk about it in matchups against Enkensho. But 114, nothing, nothing. Irrelevant. <laughs> speed buff. HP got reduced. It's pretty much done. Spirit Strike got nerfed. Ellen Kylo is not that great of a dino anymore. Um, and a lot of people have been talking about Tragodistus. People think Tragodistus is now bad? I don't think it's bad. It got nerfed for sure. I don't think it's bad. And uh, uh, here's why I forgot if, if I can find it. Tragodistus got an attack increase. Um, it's not too much. And it got a you know, slight H. Like, Tragodistus didn't have too much HP to begin with. It's just an armor dino. Um, it still does a lot of stuff. Um, it could it still stun, long invincibility, uh, you know, rampage with that, you know, damage. It's still relatively easy to create and level up. So Trago, you know, it, it's one of the dinos that it's one of the tanks that doesn't get hurt too much by security strikes since it didn't have too much HP to begin with, and it also has a lot of um, armor, which you know the bleeders have trouble getting through armor. And that's why they have bleed, but you know, bleed affects Stegod, like dinos like Stegod, like Giga, Bracky with like over 5k HP. This guy barely 
hits 4K HP, so that's it's not gonna hurt it that much. But yes, it's gonna get hurt. And I'm personally, I'm gonna probably take Trigo off the team. I love Trigo a lot, but you know, it's it's pretty much screwed. And the Chompers, so many Chompers, Trigo is pretty much screwed. Trigo Strong's buff, yeah. Um, but it's not as bad as people think. Um, if you really don't have too much uh, other stuff to run, you can still run Trigodistus. It's by no means a bad dino, but it got hurt. Alright, one last dino I want to talk about is uh, Ankentro. Uh, Ankentro used to have a really good role in defeating Monomimus, but now Monomimus, I doubt a lot of people are going to run it anymore, so Monomimus got hit, and Kentro's usability is, you know, that decreases a lot. And also, the bleed uh, thing hurts Ankentro a lot, obviously. Um, it did before, but now with the Security Strike nerf, more and more people are going to run bleed, and Ankentro is going to get hurt a bit. And also, um, the biggest reason why people aren't probably aren't going to run Ankentro as much as before is because at level 20, it hybrids into Trichosaurus, which is one of the best items in the game at the moment. You're probably not going to level Ankentro above level 20. So, yeah, that's also another problem with Ankentro. So, uh, let's talk about the unique that got shafted. And that is, uh, Magna. It's not, it's not on the list. They didn't mention Magna in the patch notes. Poor Magna. <laughs> so, the problem with Magna is it didn't, it didn't get any increases. It didn't get any buffs. Uh, Spontasuchus still beats it. Uh, all the, you know, 129 Dinos, Dollar Kyrus, um... Monomimus, uh, Spinotosuchus, um, Pyroraptor, now people are going to run Pyroraptor, um, and, uh, oh, what's his face? Erlodom now is 129 speed, so Erlodom, although Erlodom beats it before, I mean, unless you play it super bad, and you don't know what you're doing with Erlodom, you might lose to Magna, but, you, but, you know, usually... It should be quite safe that Erldom beats Magna. And now Erldom 129 Magna is, you know, it's going to lose that matchup. And then all the instant charge dinos, um, Alicino, uh, Utah Renex, uh, Utah Sinoraptor, uh, the new Allo Tarbo hybrid, we don't know what it's going to be yet, so, you know, can't really speculate too much on that. So Magna got hurt pretty bad, didn't get too many uh, buffs. Um, Cloak, or, you know, Dodge is Cloak and Dodge is looking more and more irrelevant at the moment. The only dino that I say relies on it a bit more um, would be Gally, Monomimus, or Nithomimus, and Indominus Rex. Um, Erlodom doesn't really need Cloak anymore I could, unless you know you're fighting a tank. I don't even think you should be using Cloak. That's I don't think Cloak even is an optimal move for Erlodom anymore. Um, then you got, you know, uh, Indoraptor got a health buff, they're, they're moving towards, you know, making nullifiers not that impactful anymore. So, Magna, it got hurt pretty bad, and also, it's a defense shatter, and tanks don't seem to be like they're gonna be that great in the patch. So, yeah, that's, that's a problem here, and I'm sorry, for, like, for some dino... Like, a, Magna is probably the hardest dino to get in the game. Let's be real. It's probably one of the hardest dinos to get in the game. Irritator is scarce. Um, it's only in arena incubators. And now they've just flooded the arena incubator pool with a bunch of... There's so many dinos, you're probably not going to get Irritators. Like, there's it, the chance of getting Irritator is super small. Um, the, the, the more higher you are away from Badlands. Uh, there's just so many rares now. I doubt you're going to get... Irritator in 3-hour incubators anywhere, it's going to be super hard to get it in 3-hour incubators. We'll just have to, you know, rely on the 15-minute and, you know, your daily incubators to get Irritator now. So, Magna, yeah, it got hurt pretty bad. So, that's that. Poor thing. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's all for the dinos that got shafted here. Um, and this should be my last part of the talking about the updates. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed all this. If you guys watched... If you watch, like, all of those videos up to that, like, props to you, that's 
probably like an hour of footage like damn <laughs> so uh, if you did enjoy this uh, video please leave a like down below i uh, leave a like if you're excited for the death of dodge stretch monomimus <laughs> that's gonna be fun um and uh, subscribe if you're new i'll be throwing out more Jurassic world live content obviously since we're getting updates soon we're gonna get more and more Info, hopefully, uh, hopefully we're going to get more info on seasonal tournaments, more info on the new dinos, more info on trading mechanics and daily missions, uh, more info on alliances. I've heard, uh, I've been, I, I was just talking to uh, MN Brian and uh, uh, he was thinking, you know, our alliance is going to get uh, certain upgrades, levels, you know, the more you contribute or, you know, you could level up your, the alliance and you get more good stuff. Who knows? But um, anyways, I'm um, looking forward to those, and I'll see you guys uh, later then. I'll be doing another video on the uh, on the counter for tomorrow's Epic Strike, so... Oh, also, uh, tell me guys, uh, tell, I do have a good idea on which dinos to go for this weekend, so I'll probably do one of those too um, in a bit. I'm going to take a break. Um, I haven't eaten breakfast yet. I'm going to go do that, and then I'll see you guys uh, later today.